what's really fantastic from a pedagogical standpoint is we start students learning on the Rupert Neve 5088 and then obviously with the, you know, the Neve porticos. And then we bring them in here to the, the Nuage and Nuendo room, which has obviously channel strips built in. And that's a fantastic teaching moment to take students from an analog room through a hybrid learning room into a completely digital Nuage Nuendo room that's backed up with Dante and to show them you know, the, the way that the workflows can work and complement one another and change. The room really serves two purposes. The first is obviously we want it to be the best post-production teaching facility that we possibly can. And in doing so, you know, we've obviously situated the, the nuage in the center of the room, sort of like a, uh, a Hollywood cutting stage with 20, 25 seats around it. So obviously faculty can be at the mixed position teaching students, but students can be up you know, discussing with faculty how the mix should work. Students can get up and be part of the mixing process, and that's really powerful. There's also a 4x4x1 four by four by uh, Foley stage and ADR stage, uh, which we're really very, very proud to offer students. And that's, that's something that obviously factors into our post-production curriculum as well. When I first discovered Nuendo and Nuage, it was actually whenever I was looking for a great control surface for a different DAW, which I admit was sort of hysterical. And initially I realized, oh, okay, Nuage is, it was a, a tremendously affordable control surface and I was struck by the fact that, okay, it's a little bizarre, I'm gonna have to run Nuendo as a pass-through, but okay, that's, that's not such a big deal, right? Uh, if, if it's affordable and it seems to work pretty great, that, that's okay for me. But as I started to look look into things, because you know, as any educator should, you know, we definitely want to research the different products that we're going to be putting in front of our students. After watching all the different materials available, it struck me that Nuendo is really, really feature rich. And I called in a colleague who was assisting me with, you know, the overall build process, and I said, you know, what what do you think? You know, what's your overall impression right now? And after playing with it for a few minutes and watching a video, he said, it, it feels professional. This is how I first felt whenever I first experienced, you know, my first multi-track DAW way back in the day. And I said, that, that's exactly how I feel. I, I feel like I've been sh being shortchanged here for a very long time. And I said, well, what do you think we should do? And, you know, his response was, well, we have to move forward with this. You know, it, it would be wrong to go with other options just because that might be normative within the industry. You know, we have to put the right tools in front of our students. Uh, and, and, and from that point forward, we decided, you know, we, we really had to invest in the Nuage Nuendo workflow. In previous demos that I've had with other manufacturers, you know, the, the, the gear shows up and it's not like it's under lock and key. But, you know, the, the demos are a lot more controlled. You know, you're, you're sort of shown what you need to see. And I was blown away that I was just told, you know, set it up. It'll be fine. We, we know that you can do it. It's, it's just Dante. And I did. I, I set it up. And, you know, I had some students come in and help me lift some stuff. And actually, they were particularly blown away by how well built things were. That was their initial comment. You know, that they were sitting there saying, gosh, it's just like all the old you know, Yamaha Live stuff, you know, we know we could throw this stuff and it's not going to break, which as an educator, I really care about because, you know, we don't get to have capital projects that often. And we know that this stuff has to last a long time. So that that's particularly important to me. But so we set it up on, a, on an old table and I, I grabbed just a generic switch that I had laying around, plugged it in. And after installing, you know, the software that Marcel told me to, it was up and running about 10 minutes later. And I was, I was sitting there with my colleagues saying, are, are you kidding me? It was, it was actually that simple. I was absolutely flabbergasted because as the guy who had to install this in the main studio, that really mattered to me. You know, I, I needed to have something be simple in the process. And that was really amazing just to sort of have that trust be put in us, to have a demo that, that worked for us and to, to have enough time to really delve into every feature. You know, by not having a controlled demo, you know, I got to try out 
all sorts of other post-production tools and you know really have every single one of my questions answered so that by the time that uh, the, the freight company came and picked up uh, the nuage, I was, you know, if I would have had that money in my own personal account, I would have paid for it. It was, it was really something else.